Yo, Mex and Rex, back to Armored Core 6. Last time, we had a very relaxing session in Chapter 5. We had a bunch of nice, really cinematic missions that didn't challenge me too much. I mean, we had a nice fight with Rusty again. Presumably, he really is dead this time. We also just absolutely railed uh, V1 Freud. It was kind of amazing, actually, how quickly he died. Rusty thankfully put up a little more fight. But this time, we have one sortie left, and that's to actually finish the game, I think, maybe. We gotta close down the closure satellites. I'm not sure how that's gonna end the game. I'm sure the coral's gonna be upsetty with me, being that I'm trying to destroy them. Um, and really, it sounds like a good idea. This coral stuff, I don't know, man. I think Walter and Carla may be right that it's probably just a bad deal. So let's go ahead and see if we can shut it all down. Raven. Yes, Air. I was the one who fired the satellite cannons. Gasp! I know that you... You've made your choice. I did make my choice. I my duty. As a Rubiconian. You're not even real, you're just a ghost. You shouldn't exist anymore, just die like the rest. Anyway, let's go in there and see if this is going to be as difficult as it looks. I'm waiting at the closure station. Uh-huh. Come to me, Raven. I'm coming. Hopefully I don't have to resort to tank butt. Hopefully I can just do it in the FU Ibis. Which now should be called the F.U. Air, or F.U. Coral. Coral. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Thankfully, this island still is space-worthy. This ship's pretty roughed up. You only got shot once. What are you talking about? Autopilot's out. We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. She's got, like, a ship wheel, and she's turning it. I'll leave the satellites to you, tourist. Oh, the satellites that shot us at the beginning. You've got a sense of humor. Good luck out there. You know, it makes sense that we'd have to go after these. You know what? I don't feel so bad. Damn thing shooting at me. Raven. Yes, air. I know you can still see it. See what? Drinking about. Be Macross now, huh? Raven. Yes. I will stop. You probably will. I don't expect to win this outright. You will never overcome. Well, I have to. It's the name of the game. There must be fires on Rubicon. Again. Activating combat mode. This might just be a big old super robot fight, huh? I was gonna say, where'd she go? I'm having a real hard time tracking her. See? Thank you. Okay. Still one of my biggest complaints in this game is just being able to do things. Jesus Christ, game. Let me get off an attack. I can't even use my lance because she keeps hitting me as I'm doing it. And of course she's all, oh, you don't get to hit me, though. I mean, that'd be cheating. Tracking. Failing me again. Okay. Good. Good. Go. 
good. No. Okay, she's got her second wind. Okay, this is feeling fairly doable, actually. I am. I'm the coolest. <sighs> Tracking, please. You gotta hit her. It's very important. Okay, don't fire my weapons. Just look at her like an idiot. <laughs> Let's try it again. I don't feel too bad about this one, but she probably has like three goddamn forms, and this is the easiest of the three, right? All right, let's get you closer. Try to bait you into a moment where I can actually hit you. The way you zips off across the universe is bullshit. Also, the way you interrupt my attacks is bullshit. Off. Okay. Another one of my major complaints with this game is just like sometimes you just will not hit. She's hitting with everything. She's got her shield back. That's important. Though. Good. I drilled a proper. It actually, looked like that worked pretty well. I tried. Where the hell did she go? What is all this? I feel like we've seen that attack before from a different enemy. Okay, don't allow me to hit. That'd be cheating. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing a lot of moves that we can get around. I want to try something. I want to try something. I told you that the, the easy mode could probably do everything else in this game. Let's see if that's in fact true. Let's load up the easy mode real quick. This is our tank butt using the chatty's wheels. And also using that big, ugly, stupid head. I'm going to take off the lance. I'm not sure how handy the lance is going to be in this fight. Because she's just skating away from my every attempt to hit her. But this thing, this thing can probably hit her. I was having some good, good uh, stuff with my laser one. So maybe this one will do well too. Let's try it again, shall we? Thankfully, you can skip all, skip all these cutscenes. I do appreciate that. Alright, Eric, come on. Now we have our tank button. We can actually shoot our needles without stopping. It doesn't mean they're going to hit. <laughs> we can also take a lot more damage, as kind of displayed there. Man, she recovers quickly, doesn't she? I realize what you are. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Fires that haunt Rubicon. There's that stupid attack. She's blowing up things. Ow. One repair kit remaining. Do oh, I have any repair kits remaining? Where the hell is she? She's floating over my ass or something. gonna fucking kill them too, air. <laughs> what the f There's goddamn force ghosts coming to kill my ass now. You probably will. I 
500. No, she got me. <laughs> well done, Air. Let's try it again. We we did a pretty good job there. Main system activating combat mode. We did a pretty good job there. She doesn't appear to have a second mode. Fire those independently. The hardest thing I'm having a problem with is just finding her. Of course! I somehow slid behind the one thing that could block that. Good, 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 good. God, hey, if I actually did something that I meant to. I tried. If you see the camera bombing, that's me hitting all my mouse buttons. That was a fun attack. Where the hell did she go? Uh, I don't think we saw. Ow! Jesus Christ! I don't think we saw that attack. Like, what the fuck is this? Wow, that assault's doing nothing to her, huh? Yep, he got me again. It's only because you did your super flight of the Valkyries move, my goodness. Main system activating combat mode. Alright. Note to self, don't get hit by the flight of the Valkyries move. Assault boost, assault nothing, right? Such a clumsy fight. Using so many repair kits on this first phase. There we go. Spark of war. The spark of war. Woman, <laughs> your people are nothing but like a power source. Oh, she's doing her fucking fly the Valkyries. Fuck you, man. Woo! Okay, I didn't get hit by that. Oh, dashing towards her is the move there, man. Rocked! Fire all the babies! What's going on? Yeah! Dream is over. You can wake up like it's Mario 2. Push that thing out of the way. It's like the bitch I'm a bus meme. <laughs> I'm 
understandably, this thing is just chock full of coral. Now for the Rubicon shattering kaboom! Yeah, let's get out of here! <laughs> It's funny seeing that big old chonky thing just somehow trundling away from this. There were no winners at the close of the Coral War. Except lethal. When the storm of fire finally faded, only the ashes of civilization remained. At least on Rubicon. I'm sure everywhere else civilization was. Haunted. The corporations made a joint announcement with the Planetary Closure Administration. Rubicon was to be abandoned, left a dead planet forever. Until Armored Core 7. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the monster who burned the stars, Sammy, vanished into the flames, never to be heard from again. Nah, I retired. I didn't die. Would forever remember. Say it. The fires. Of Raven. I'll sell for that ending. I was expecting the fires of Rubicon. <laughs> and that has been Armored Core 6, Fires of the Rubicon. It's a game where... I have a mixed feeling about this game. It's really good. Don't get me wrong. It's really good in a lot of aspects, but man, it can be really frustrating. It's one of those games that actually gives you... Almost infinite possibilities on what, how you can approach the problem of all of these boss fights. You can bring in your tank butt. You can use your, you know, close weapons. Start lancing things. You could use missiles. There's just infinite possibilities. But it's a game that... It's hard to say with some of the boss designs what they want you to do. Because a lot of them, like, when I was fighting that Ibis AC, which is still the hardest fight in this game, as far as I'm concerned. Like, you can't avoid a lot of its moves consistently. At least with the regular leg builds. Whenever I used the tank butt that I just displayed, it was pretty easy to avoid some of them. But it just has a very large hitbox on pretty much everything. So it's more about also design your robots. I like how we're just showcasing all the bosses here at the end, which is appropriate. They are the they are the hardest part of this game. There's one of the other harder bosses. I need to refight that thing again. Pinecone bosses, I you know affectionately call it. But yeah, it's just a really weird game in that aspect. I still that's one thing I have to suspend my disbelief on. It's like, we have these giant spaceships. And your robot's just gonna carve through them like cheddar cheese. It's a why they bring in these things to the battlefield. They literally die with like one melee attack. Like, if it's not me, it's gonna be Rusty. It's gonna be anyone who comes to the table. As far as like the best boss fight, the one we're seeing right there with the ice room, I think was the most epic and most enjoyable. Just the way that it was like a show in an anime. Everyone comes together to fight this giant stupid thing. You're a key part of it. And of course, Rusty's there being awesome. And really, there's... One thing that's really nice about this game is even though you watch this playthrough, there's still stuff for you to experience by going to those other decision points. Building mechs in your own ways to experience a game different than I experienced. So while I could replay this game and show you everything, I'm not going to. I'd like you to explore this game yourself. Whether at full price or on sale, this game is a great value. Let me see how many hours I put into this sucker in the uh, preparation of this series. I have a 30 point, well, a 31 hour playthrough. Some of that was on camera, some of that was off camera, practicing and just trying out things. I definitely got my money's worth. I, of course, bought this at launch. 31 hours is a pretty good amount. 
Especially for something as high octane as this. I love the designs in this game. It really is a refinement of the Armored Core just series in general. Better, smoother, bigger. Armored Core 6. I'm trying to think of the other things in this game. Some of the menuing was really, really obnoxious. They should really fix that. But other than that, no solid complaints. Just very weird difficulty spikes. Difficulty all over the place. The regular missions, those are really fun, actually. There's a wide variety. We had stealth, we had defense, we had just taking out ACs, we had exploration missions. And they had a lot of optional stuff. A lot of that that I didn't really show, like finding logs for the log hunt, to unlock some of that stuff. Fighting things that you didn't have to fight. Finding parts that you didn't have to find. In a lot of ways, it is still like Dark Souls. You can feel a lot of from in this game. Whether it's in the variety of combat, or sometimes the clunky nature of combat. <laughs> Furrow's brow at game. I was complaining about the tracking there on that last battle. That is one complaint I think I can't handle to do. Sometimes... Sometimes your guy just doesn't track the enemy. It just doesn't feel like it, you know? I can understand that. Sometimes I don't feel like doing things, too. And sometimes the enemies... I think I've complained about this a lot. It, they just don't acquiesce to be hit. Even though they're in situations where they could. You know, they're going out of their way not to be hit. Which I don't appreciate. If they're a thousand leagues away, I understand. If I'm firing a nice needle at you, you probably won't be hit. If I have you staggered and I'm all up in your stuff with the barrels in your jaws, you should be hit. If I've gone through the prep work of doing a quick boost and an assault boost to get adjacent to you and I'm swinging a sword at you, you should be hit. There's been so many times in this game where enemies just zip zop away. And this is primarily like later bosses. Where I'm like, what do you want me to do, game? I put myself in a situation where I should be hitting. Why are you punishing me for using the mechanics you taught me to use? So, well, Lethal, I really want you to use a tank butt. All right. All right, I'll use a tank butt. The tank butt does just make things easier, as I display there at the end. If I was using my... Well, you saw it both ways, actually. You saw it when I was using my regular build. And you saw it when I used the tank butt. The tank butt just works. Those Zimmermans are amazing. And also, if you use the, I forget what the hell they're called, the Gatling guns, they're similarly amazing. If you just want to have constant impact damage. Once you unlock them, you can just ride them throughout the entire game and have an easy time of it. It's just I want to have fun, too, you know? And I beat that, I'm happy to say that I beat that Ibis AC in a very satisfying fashion. Just drilling it to death. Ugh. Glorious. What kind of weapons could they add to this game to make it more fun, I wonder? They have all all the standbys of all the mechas I can think of. We have every variety of missile, every variety of laser, so many different melee weapons. I'm sure if they can think of another one, they should because they're Japanese. They'll add it. Either way, I hope you enjoyed your time in this series. There are times when I regretted making this last episode, or the episode before last, when we fought the Ibis A AC. But I don't regret now. I think it was a worthwhile expenditure of time, money, and... Yeah. Pretty happy with where it's gone. Let's see if we have any post-credit sequence here. That's it. Your music Unlock condition verified. There it is. Playing back message. Sender. Handler Walter. You gonna be happy, Walter? Better be. Six two one. Looks like you got the job done. You 
you chose to carry our burden and right the wrongs of the past. I'm sorry. And I'm grateful. 621. There's nothing left to bind you. Whatever choices you make now, I just hope you find your true potential. So there you have it. I'm not dead. And Walter sent me a message. Is he dead? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That may have been an automated message that he just had set up. Maybe whenever Carla died? Or something? What's going on here? Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Raven, you've returned. Welcome back. All Mind anticipates great things from you. Where does All Mind fall in all this, too? Looks like you passed the authentication. That was quite the welcome home. Well, whatever. Raven, that's who you are now. You're on Rubicon. I've picked up some work for you already. Take a look, 621. So welcome to New Game Plus, in case you want to have more of this. I'm gonna say, is it exactly the same one? Yeah. We can just go and do the beginning missions. Can we replay everything? We can just replay everything. Interesting. That's an interesting way to do New Game Plus. So if you want to unlock those other decision points, you can do so. You can have your fun times. I'm not exactly sure how it'll do the rest of the game, but you know what? I'm going to leave that for you guys to explore. I really hope that you enjoy this series. And I'll see you in the next LP. Bye-bye.